please have a seat. We are gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments and to cherish the words which shall unite Arian and Lucius in marriage. Marriage is the promise between two people who love each other and who trust in that love, who honor one another as individuals and who wish to spend the rest of their lives together. This ceremony will not create a relationship that does not exist already between you. It is a symbol of how far you've come in the past four years. It is a symbol of the promises you will make to each other uh, to growing stronger as individuals, as partners, no matter what challenges or successes you encounter together in the years before you. Today, your lives, which began on separate paths, will be joined as one. Arian and Lucius would like me to read a poem, Union, by Robert Fulgham. You have known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you have been making commitments in an informal way. All of those conversations that were held in a car or over a meal or during long walks All of those conversations that began with, when we're married and continued with, I will, you will, we will. All those late night talks that included someday and somehow and maybe, and all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vows that you are about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things that we've promised and hoped and dreamed? Well, I meant it, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, karaoke partner, <laughs> companion, lover, dancing partner, even teacher. For you have learned much from one another these past few years. Shortly, you shall say a few words that will take you across the threshold of life, and things between you will never quite be the same. For after today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. And now Lucius would like to read his vows. Whew. Bear with me a little bit. Some people thought this day might never come. <laughs> However, my patience has really paid off. As everyone here can see, I'm the luckiest man today, as you look so beautiful and are simply stunning. That was before I saw her. <laughs> my love for you grew. The more I saw you bond with your family, the incredible motivation and drive you have to succeed, and surprisingly, your love for 80s pop music, we got to test on our many long, long road trips. These are only a few of the endless reasons why I'm so lucky to be standing here next to you now. Over the years together, we have learned to compromise <clears throat> When we have differing thoughts, then we decide your idea is better and go with that. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> As you allowed me to have two TVs in the living room, which probably makes many here jealous. <laughs> with that said, my favorite example of your generosity came on September 5th, 2015, when we were walking Pedernales Falls in Texas, where we live found our own secluded area, 
I pulled out an engagement ring and proceeded to say your name wrong while proposing. I had known for a while at that point that you were the one that I wanted to marry, but that day cemented it in my mind that there was no one else I would ever want to share my dumb mistakes with. So coming from someone born in Nebraska and a huge fan, as you know, you have finally given us, given one of us, the very best reason to like something about the University of Texas Longhorns. <laughs> and I can't imagine any day without my Longhorn by my side. I love you. And now Ariane would like to read her vows. Today is a very special day. Today, I promise to never stop annoying you about getting another puppy until we finally get one, <laughs> as promised. I vow to put my pajamas on first so I don't have to take Tula out for potty. I vow to always have the AC on high even when I'm freezing. I vow to be your fateful partner in celebrating the Broncos win and in Broncos induced sickness. I vow to constantly make jokes just to see a smile on your face, even though 99% of the time I'm the only one laughing. I vow to make you, I vow to take you as you are and to love who you are. I vow to always listen to you and to learn from you every day. I vow to make you happy and to make you laugh and to always be there for you through the good and through the rough times. Today, I thank you for being my inspiration, my love, my wish, my best friend, and the person I want to grow old with. Thank you for choosing me as your partner. I vow to never let you go. I love you. <clears throat> Ari and Lucius, please join hands. Lucius, do you take Arian to be your wife, your partner in life, and your one true love? Will you cherish your union and love her more each day than you did the day before? Will you trust and respect her, laugh and cry with her? Love her faithfully through good times and bad, regardless of the obstacles you may face together. Will you give your hand, your heart, your love from this day forward for as long as you both shall live. Arian, do you take Lucius to be your husband, your partner in life, and your one true love? Will you cherish your union and love him more each day than you did the day before? Will you trust and respect him, laugh and cry with him, love him faithfully through good times and in bad, regardless of the obstacles you may face together? Will you give your hand, your heart, and your love from this day forward, for as long as you both shall live. I do. <laughs> that was two I do's. <laughs> May I have the rings? Lucius, place this ring on Arian's finger and repeat after me. Arian, I give you this ring. Arian, I give you this ring. As a daily reminder of my love for you. As a daily reminder of my love for you. Arian, please place the ring on Lucius's finger and repeat after me. Lucius, I give you this ring. As a daily reminder of my love for you. To make your relationship work will take love. This is the core of your marriage and why you are here today. It will take trust to know that in your hearts you truly want what is best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open to one another and to learn and grow together. And it will take commitment to hold true to the journey you both have pledged to today. You have made your marriage vows to one another, witnessed by your friends and family. You have sealed your vows with the giving and receiving of these rings. So now, by the power vested in me, I pronounce you 
husband and wife, and invite you to kiss one another. Well, you already put your hands together. Now get your bubbles ready as I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Lucius and Arian Novosad.